Hello everyone, in our last video we left Kelly Doll Campground and made it to our destination of Peaceful Valley where Paul would be stationed for the summer. You can see the bright greens of the aspens in between all of the beautiful pines. that runs through all throughout the campground winding through its beautiful copper colored water. They say this creek will actually get much higher as summer comes as this water is all from the ice flow from the top of the mountains that you probably saw in the distance. Very peaceful indeed. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is I, Editing Tiffany from the future. I wanted to take a quick moment to interject and give some backstory as to what is going on currently. As you saw, we were in Peaceful Valley, which was absolutely gorgeous, nestled in between the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. And now we are at a completely different place, which might have you scratching your head. And so I wanted to provide some backstory as to why we're there. Um, so basically, Peaceful Valley was beautiful. It was a wonderful place to be stationed at. Um, Paul, unfortunately, and a few others had some um, issues going on. Um, and to make a long story short, Pa wasn't certain if it was going to be a success for him to be at Peaceful Valley given some circumstances that came up. So um, he had made the decision to kind of give um, HR a call and say, hey, I just don't think this is going to work out and maybe we should just cut ties and move on. And 
Um, however, HR, you know, was like, hey, hold on, wait a minute. You know, we have a place um, north in Colorado, um, a couple hours away from you guys that has uh, um, basically a lot of things that what Paul and I were kind of looking for at the beginning. Um, it's managed very well. Um, there's a people that have been there for a very long time in the surrounding campgrounds. And so Paul and I said, well, let's give it a shot. And this is, it. you know, <laughs> if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But we thought it was better to um, stay with a seasonal job in the summertime. And that's for a couple of different reasons. One, it's very difficult um, if you're a nomad in the summer season because you're constantly trying to find places and you're also finding a lot of families that are vacationing at the same time. Um, the other thing is there's a lot of wildfires in this area right now, especially in New Mexico at the moment. And Paul and I didn't really know which area we'd go to and that was kind of where the area we were thinking of and a lot of the National Forest Services are shutting down the um, BLM land areas in that in those regions so that would also made it very difficult for us so we figured might as well work for the summer might as well get paid and also have a free site so we are now in the beautiful Red Feathers region in northern Colorado um, and I hope you'll continue to to join us on this crazy journey. Did I expect us to be where we are today? No, it was quite chaotic. We went from a morning of sitting in a diner kind of brainstorming what was next, what we were going to do, um, to finally, you know, getting that call and making a decision from there um, and just kind of jumping headfirst in. So. Yeah, so thanks for watching, thanks for allowing me to explain what's going on, and let's continue on with the video. Thanks. We packed up from Peaceful Valley after a short few days and made it down one of the worst washboard roads we had driven the van on. It about rattled us to death. And then we wound our way down a um, beautiful scenic route, uh, making our way to Boulder where we contemplated our next steps and also ran a few errands before we headed back up into the hills and towards Estes Park. I know I've shown some Estes Park in the past, but the scenes are just so breathtaking that I wasn't able to capture the first time, so enjoy. After hanging out in Estes Park for a couple hours to finalize our plans, we headed on northward to our final destination. Um, this is one of the most scenic routes that really made me think of Colorado with all of the cute little cabins and the flowing, roaring creeks and rivers along the roadside. What was kind of neat is before we were traveling above and around the mountaintops and now it looked like we were driving completely through the mountains at this point. And then suddenly, wow, what a change. Those mountains in the distance are what we just had traveled out and through of. 
we made our ways through the hills, climbing up again into elevation near our next destination. These beautiful clouds and views would be a little deceptive as you'll see here in just a few seconds as when we made it to our next campground. Oh, there was a lot of snow the next morning. <laughs> We made a quick run that morning into the village to pick up just a few things that we needed to start Paul's official day. Unfortunately, as it is a very small village, they operate on village time, so we waited. But while we did so, we made some breakfast to enjoy in the back of the van, one of the perks of van life. I picked myself up a heater to help with the frigid temps that we would now be dealing with for the next few days. Our goal for the next couple days was just to stay as warm as possible as we could and to keep ourselves occupied, which we did quite well. The next morning we awoke to a baby moose traveling through camp. Quite a sight. And the aftermath of the snow was not nearly as awful as what we had expected. In fact, by the afternoon it was almost completely gone. So you'll have to stay tuned and see what's next for us at Westlake. Thanks for watching. Take care, my friends.